What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at how to slipstream service pack 2 into office 2010 now as a pc technician this will save you loads of time because you won't have to update your actual uh, office 2010 or any other office if you want to slipstream those and also you can do it with windows slipstream all the latest uh, updates into your windows discs so you don't have to update which means you can just install and walk away. It's pretty easy to do. So let's get started. So you're going to need to get yourself the latest update. And this is the Service Pack 2 here for Office 2010, as you can see, the 32-bit version. But you can also download the 64-bit version and do it on that as well. But we're going to be doing the 32-bit in this uh, video. But it's exactly the same for 64 and 32. So the first thing I'm going to do is show hidden files folders and drives and also take the tick out of hide extensions okay once we've done that I want to go into the C root directory and create a couple of folders inside here okay it's going to create two folders and the first folder we're just going to call this sp2 like so and this one I'm going to rename this one and this one could be called office okay that's now done so what we want to do next is copy these into our location now these are this is the retail version of office so I'm just going to cut and paste this into our office folder go back and then service pack 2 and uh, what I want to do here is cut and paste this service pack into there okay pretty straightforward stuff okay so now we've got that done we want to um, rename these files so I'm just going to quickly rename this I'm going to call this sp2 you can call yours what you like and also we're going to go into where it says office and rename this office Now you don't have to rename them but it just makes it easier when we're typing out the command okay okay so there we have our two folders office and service pack 2 and it's got our office uh, retail version in there and also our service pack in service pack 2 okay so what we want to do next is come down to the run bar okay so we want to open up our run box here and all we need to do is click on the windows and R just like so now if you want to get it on your menu system here you can do that by right clicking on the all button and go properties then go customize and then come down to where it says run command put the tick in there click OK OK again and it will put the run command box on there okay so we want to type here C colon backslash and then office and then office.exe and then space forward slash extract colon c colon and then backslash and then office files just like so and then click enter and this will start to extract those into that location we'll take a bit of time I'm going to say yes to this and it's going to extract those and put them into our folder that's now complete and we want to do this again so I'm going to open this up again and type something else in here so we're going to do C colon backslash and then we're going to do SP2 this time because we need to extract that So we want to do this one this time 
and then we're gonna push enter gonna say yes to this accept the uh, terms conditions click continue that's now complete now if we go back to our C root directory here we can now see we've got office files and SP2 files and if you look inside here it's extracted all those files in there okay so here we have all our files and we want to highlight all these and copy these files into another location so what I'm going to do here is just copy all these files now you can cut and paste them if you wish I'm just going to copy them I'm going to go back into where it says office files and inside here we want to look for updates and we want to paste them in there okay okay that's now complete and what we want to do next is come back here so here we have all our files this is our actual finished product inside office files so all we need to do here now is rename this folder to whatever we wish I'm going to call this office 2010 with sp2 times 86 which is the 32-bit version retail that's it so as you can see we have our complete office 2010 with service pack 2 32-bit retail version this is our complete version and we can either run it from here or we can actually create our own ISO image and burn this to an ISO or a CD or DVD or USB flash drive whatever you want to do so that's basically how you slipstream service pack 2 into office 2010 so I hope this helps you out guys my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoyed this video please hit the subscribe button that will keep you up to date for when I upload new videos and also hit the like button guys it really does help me out and get some visibility so thanks again for watching guys have a great weekend and i'll see you again real soon bye for now